Hi, it's Emma Nago. So today I'm coming to you guys with an empties video. I have been accumulating so many empties actually, like makeup um, and hair mainly. Like skincare, I go through skincare pretty quickly. But makeup and hair, it takes me forever to actually use up a product. But the fact that I have as many products as I do is actually really good in my opinion because I have so much makeup so it takes me forever to go through just one single product. And yeah, I just want to mention I did this makeup look today with all new products. I did not film it, I was just feeling so tired, I was not even sure I could do any videos today at all. But if you do like the makeup look and you would like to see it in a video, let me know down below and I will film it for you. But yeah, anyways, let's now get right into this empties video. So I'm going to start out with like miscellaneous products first. So first of all, I used up a whole little pot of Vaseline. I bought this in like a three pack. And this is the first one, so it was filled like up to here. So I used all of this. I'm really happy I used up this entire thing. Um, but I do use up lip balm regularly. I use a lot of lip balm. I have really dry lips and I also have quite sensitive lips. So I'm always trying different things and trying to see what works the best. And also like my sensitivity towards products. It just, it changes. Like sometimes Vaseline hits the spot for me and then sometimes it does not. So I have to switch up my lip balms all the time to make sure I don't get any eczema and make sure I don't have dry lips or that they don't crack or just get irritated. So yeah, I used up a whole, a whole little Vaseline pot. Another thing I used up is this Vaseline eye drop. So this is the redness relief. So I would drop like two drops in, one, in each eye. Um, before makeup application just to make my eyes nice and bright. I already have a backup that I'm using now and I also have an Equate one that I have in my bathroom. Or is it a Visine? Maybe it's Visine actually, not Equate. I think I might have used up the Equate. But yeah, I use like anti-redness eye drops occasionally. I believe they're not good for your eyes so I do not use them every single day. I use them maybe once a week. I actually get these from America. I get them on eBay because um, they're not legal in Denmark where I live, believe it or not. So yeah, I use these um, occasionally, especially before I film a video because I want my eyes to be nice and bright on camera. Okay, next empty is this Revitalash serum that I got um, as a Christmas present from my mom. So this one I have not used completely up, but I'm going to get rid of it because I am allergic. Which really sucks because when I used it, my lashes would get so long and just so full and look so nice. So Revitalash definitely works. But unfortunately, that's just something in the formula that makes my eyes red and irritated. Like my lash line got red and irritated. So I just, um, I can't use it. But I wish I could because it really truly works. I have tried like cheaper like dupes of Revitalash, but they haven't really done anything uh, substantial for my lashes. But with this one, I definitely saw a difference. So moving on to hair empties, I have this Magic Retouch by L'Oreal. So this is like a root spray that you can use if you have like, uh, if you dye your hair. For me, I use it to fill, fill in like my hairline if I wear my hair up. This is all my natural hair color, but my hair tends to get lighter. The hairs out here, I don't know if you can see right now, but the hairs up here and especially up here underneath this hair that's covering it. And the same over here, it tends to get lighter. So I do dye my hair just with a hair dye that's the same color. But if I haven't dyed my hair in a few months or if I just need it, then I will use this when I have my hair up in a ponytail or bun or something like that to fill out any light areas or any sports areas and it really works, I really like it. This one I have in the color brown, I also have one that I'm using right now in the color dark blonde. I think my hair is kind of in between the dark blonde and the brown, but I do prefer the dark blonde because uh, I don't want, like I would rather have the, I would rather have the spray be a little bit too light than a little bit too dark. I just think it looks more obvious if it's a little bit too dark. So personally, I will go with the dark blonde from now on. But uh, yeah, it really works. I really like it. The only thing I don't like about it is that sometimes the sprayer will like leave little droplets. So you will spray it on, but you can get some droplets on your forehead or on your hand, the hand that you're holding the spray with. So you have to be mindful of that. So I always do it before my makeup because the droplets can land on your forehead and ruin your makeup. And I did buy like a little face shield actually on eBay and I thought it was transparent because you know I do it myself 
So I have to be able to see what I'm doing, but unfortunately it's not transparent, it's like tinted blue. So I can't really see anything through the through the shield. So in that way I can't really see where I'm spraying. So it's very inconvenient. I definitely need a transparent shield so I can spray and not get it on my face and still be able to see what I'm doing. But yeah, this is a must in my opinion. Um, I would repurchase this over and over and over. Next up we have some hairspray from Tresemme. So this is supposed to be like a shine and hairspray in one. I have really liked it. I bought it. It was super cheap. 9 Kona, which is like one and a half dollars. So it was super cheap and honestly I just go for any cheap hairspray. It doesn't matter that much to me. I use hairspray maybe twice a week and I just need a little something. It doesn't have to be, you know, the world's greatest hairspray. I just need something at an, at an affordable price. So moving on to makeup, I finished a whole setting spray. This one is by iHeart Revolution, which is like a sister brand to Makeup Revolution. This is the fixing spray in the scent Cookies and Cream. This one was okay, but it wasn't great. I really bought this because of the Cookies and Cream scent. Like, I love cookies so much, okay? But unfortunately to me, it doesn't smell that much of Cookies and Cream. It just kind of smells vanilla-y. And the scent is very strong. It does not linger, like after you apply it and then like 10 minutes later it's gone. But um, it it's not my favorite scent and also the product didn't do much for the staying power. It didn't do a lot for like um, making the powders seem more skin-like. So it did okay, you know, it didn't do anything that I didn't like. You know how some sprays that will leave like big droplets on your face or they will somehow ruin your makeup or your eye makeup or something. It didn't do that, but it also didn't do a lot of other things. <laughs> I also used up three powders. So if there is one makeup product I will use up, it is powder. Like powder foundation, mascara and eyeliner, but definitely powder first. I use a ton of powder. I have super oily skin, as you can probably see right now. I, you know, I have some highlighter on, but some of this is just oil. And loose powder is my absolute favorite. I love to bake with some good loose powder. So I used up the Master Fix powder from Maybelline. This is like a really finely milled, almost like an HD powder. This one is not my favorite. The texture is just not the greatest, I don't think. This one I would not repurchase. I also used up the Fancy Butter Powder, Pro Filter Powder. This is so freaking bomb. I freaking love this powder. This is actually just the travel size and I think I have to get the full size. This is like one of the best powders that I've ever tried. My favorite powder used to be the Kat Von D, but I stopped using Kat Von D. And ever since that, this Fancy Powder has been my favorite and it's honestly so, so good. And I also used up their Cody Airspun Powder, which is also a pretty good option. I have been pretty pleased with this. It does have like a strong like grandma perfume smell. Um, yeah, it does. <laughs> but it works. It's a really nice baking powder. And I actually got this um, in the States. So I would have to get this online if I were to repurchase it. And there is a good chance that I would repurchase it because it's pretty affordable, it works great and you get a lot of product. So next up I have these three colored mascaras from Rimmel. These are like the Kate Moss collections and I actually got these when they were on sale. The so one is like a blue, one is a green and then one is like a bur burgundy. These actually worked pretty well for me. I have never had any good luck with Rimmel mascara in the past. I love Rimmel makeup but their mascaras have always just sucked for me. They have always been really terrible. Like not even okay. But most, all of them, all of them that I've tried have been bad. But these ones have been pretty good. Like the brush is like a little curvy shape, like an S shape almost. And the formula is pretty freaking good actually. So I do actually like these mascaras. But these are old now, I have to throw them out. And of course I haven't used them completely up because they are colored mascaras. And I don't wear colored mascara every single day. But they were good. They were definitely good. And these are called the Scandalized Mascaras by Kate Moss. So I might have to look into um, like the regular black version of this. Because um, they really work well. And I want to try a good Rimmel mascara. It must be possible, right? They must have one good mascara at least. 
Then I also used up two Sephora collection mascaras. So one is just a little sample. This is called the Outrageous Extension and then the other one is just called the Mascara. I like the Outrageous Extension mascara. It was good. It wasn't great. I really liked the mascara. The only thing about this is that it's not waterproof and I really just, I have just found out that I need waterproof mascara. For some reason the way this eye is shaped on me, all my mascaras, they just transfer down here if they're not waterproof. It doesn't happen with this eye. This eye is like more round than this one. This one is a little more slanted. So for that reason, I would not repurchase this. And also I think they discontinued it. But I did like it when I was using it. And for doing like makeup videos where I'm just going to wear the makeup for like a few hours tops, it was fine. But definitely for all day wear, I need waterproof. Okay, next up, this one I did not use up as you can see, but I just wanted to talk about it real quick because I'm definitely getting rid of this right now. So this is Technique's Gel Eyeliner. So it's a gel liner in a pencil form and it's really, really terrible. I believe I tried this on in my full face of Affordable First Impressions. That's a tongue twister. Wow. Anyway, I tried this eyeliner in that video and I did not like it. It's not very creamy, it's not very opaque, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of like pressing down to get this to um, transfer to the skin. And also I put the cap on the end and then the whole thing at the end just it came off. Now it's stuck down in the cap so now I can put the cap back on the actual pencil. So there are just many things wrong with this product and there's not a single thing I like so this one is just getting rid of it. Also another product that is not empty that I'm just getting rid of because I don't like it is this <laughs> mascara. It's like a glitter or like a metallic mascara from Essence. It's called the Lash and Brow Gel Mascara in the color Go Berry. So it is like a metallic berry color but unfortunately it does not translate to the lashes. Like on the lashes it looks almost just like a blackened brown mascara. You don't see the metallic reflect and you don't see the berry color and also it does not transfer very easily. It needs like 10 coats to show up and by now it's also old so I'm just getting rid of this now. Oh we have another mascara. This is W7's Less Tastic False Liquid Lashes. So this mascara claims to give you like false lashes with just your mascara. I didn't really like it. I didn't hate it, but I didn't think it did that much for my lashes. And of course it's not waterproof and I found that it transferred pretty badly. Next up I also have a completely empty duo glue in the dark tone. This one has served me pretty well. I do like duo's glues. Duo was the first eyelash glue I ever tried. I went to MAC and got their just clear duo glue because back then when I got like into false lashes like when I got my first pair of false lashes no one was carrying eyelash glue it was just not it was not a thing everyone was using duo so that's also what I did and I do still like duo but I feel like there are better glues out there now also I think it's so inconvenient to have like a big tube like this I definitely prefer to brush on um, applicator nowadays because I would always squeeze this out and I would squeeze out too much waste a bunch of product and also you have to find a surface where you can squeeze it out and you have to make sure you clean it up but you have to wait for it to dry you have to make sure you don't accidentally stick your elbow on the glue patch it's just a lot more fussy to have a glue like this than the one with the, the wand applicator also I think I have to part with these elf lashes I have worn these a lot of times. I've worn them so many freaking times and you can you can tell they look pretty worn out now. So these are the wind and bold lashes. So they are a lot longer on the outside and they're also a lot thicker. And I really like the look these give. So I have been really um really pleased with these lashes. I would definitely try some more from this uh, line of lashes from e.l.f. Okay, and the final product we have is this e.l.f. lip scrub. So this is in the in the scent um, grapefruit and this is how much I have left. You can see I completely used it up. This one works really great. As I said I have dry lips so this one is perfect to just use if I'm going to do a makeup look with like a liquid lip or a matte lipstick and I have some dry flaky skin on my lips. This will just 
take care of it. Also what I really like about these e.l.f. lip scrubs is that um, the stick is very firm. So even if you go in and press a little bit hard on your lips, the stick doesn't start to move, you know? The stick stays very firm, it's very user friendly, it's just really easy to use. And it's a lot less messy than like a lip scrub in a pot, in my opinion. And I do already have a new backup, so it's all fresh and new. And it smells kind of like cherries. This is in the sweet cherry scent. I did like the grapes, grapefruit scent, but I thought I would just try something new. I have also tried the, just the regular um, version. So yeah, now I can finally go ahead and throw these things out. Not have them laying around in my room anymore, waiting for me to do this video. And I can move on to new stuff. So yeah, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can click the bell to get post notifications. And yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. So take care and bye bye.